Hello everybody of YouTube. This is going to be part one of a multiple part video. So don't forget to look out for part two of this video when I release it. But anyway, here's part one. Today, I'm going to be talking about how these uh, fire alarm pull stations you commonly see in commercial buildings actually work when you pull them down. Now, what I'm going to be talking about is not so much the addressable module. I'm going to be talking more about the actual switch. As if this were a conventional pull station, it would just activate the switch. So I'm basically ignoring the addressable module, and I'm just going to be talking about how the switch activates inside when you pull it down. So to give a little introduction, you've probably seen these pull stations or some other variant of a pull station in a building before. Most common type would be a firelight or notifier branded BG12 or other variant of that same model series pull station. But these are a little bit less common in certain areas. These are simplex T-bars. They get their name because the handle looks like a T, and it's a bar, and you pull it down. So, how these actually work is, if you've ever gotten the chance to look at one when it was opened, because there's a lock here when it's unlocked, is that you'll notice that there's a switch inside here. Well, not exactly what well, it is a switch, but it's more of a push-button switch. And these are called normally closed switches okay so what a normally closed switch is is this is normally going to be pushed down like this so what happens is these switches are basically normally open so when you push it down the, the switch is normally in this position when the door is shut on the pull station but let's say someone comes up and they pull the pull station like this and then all of a sudden the alarms start going off. Well, what happened inside the pull station? Well, it's pretty simple. If you look inside this hand, in, in this handle here, this is the actual handle that uh, when you put your thumb here and you pull it down, it goes like this. See that? Now, normally, see how there's not a gap here, how this is flat? And this normally would keep pressure on this switch and keep it closed. But when someone goes along and pulls the handle, you see how there's this gap here inside the uh, T-bar handle itself. And what happens is the switch gets uh, released, and therefore it activates. So that's basically how it works. And uh, I uh, want to, because since I'm, my camera is running out of memory right now, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to conclude this part of the video. So uh, I thank you guys for watching part one of the uh, video on how these pull stations operate. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you. And uh, thank you for watching, and look out for part two in the future. Have a great day.